Hello, I'm Mr. Niker, for anybody that doesn't know me, and my class, along with Mr. Barron and also Mr. Cairns, who's also with us from Towson University, uh, have been working in our classes throughout the day, uh, looking at the disaster of the Key Bridge collapse and what impact it had on the community, both locally, nationally, and internationally. We've been exploring the history of the area that dates back to the 1700s, and today we're focused on the practical aspect of how to help the community. We're going to be looking at various areas like, is there a better bridge design? Is there a way to open the port? Is there a way to provide jobs for people who lost their jobs? How can we as a school help people in the community that have been impacted from the workers to the families of the construction workers who perished? But basically, I'm working on Tinkercad right now to make the Francis Scott Key Bridge better in design so it doesn't collapse like it did. Theoretically, of course, because I'm not the one in charge of this. Uh, I actually found like a real design of the Fr Fr uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge, like off the just like the their like web thing, because they had you could look up designs. So I'm gonna go tinker with this, see what's wrong with it. I love being on camera. Penny here is designing his version of the replacement for the Key Bridge. And he's also learning how to use the technology, Tinkercad. And then Mr. Barton is going to allow us to be able to print off uh, prototypes. Oh yeah, oh man. You know the fact that the boat has eyes. It acts, these will be strong materials that hold up the bridge. Uh, I have not decided the material because I'm too lazy to look at the periodic table. We should build it like how we did the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, but the issue with that is there's too many pillars and the same incident might happen in the long run. So we're trying to figure out how my family and other families can help help Barmer County and Barmer City with the key bridge incident. Instead of paying for bridges, people could pay for amphibious vehicles. Um, so what I'm thinking now is maybe if they have like a ferry um, or something and then they could kind of have that till the bridge is built and, and it would, that maybe wouldn't solve the problem. It would, I think it would probably uh, improve the situation. Okay, so we've created a bridge that they can use in case that this emergency ever happens again. So, you see these? These are supposedly like the support beams on top. And then on the bottom is supposedly... What the... Arch. Yeah, that's an arch that is going to go over, under the bridge. And then these are the support beams. Left and then... Okay, let me just go... What did I just do? I... Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that okay, let me happen. just zoom out. Yeah, these are left and right. These are the support beams for the left and right so that this bridge can stay up. The arch is to support the middle, like the Middle East. So, what? these are the windows, <laughs> supposedly. What? How? <laughs> I thought these windows were placed already. What What happened? Who Why did would this? We need windows on a bridge. We I mean, do need windows on a bridge. What I've been doing is I've been writing a lot of get well cards for all the people and I'm drawing pictures of hearts for them for uh for their for their heroes about who have suffered the big key who have suffered the long key bridge. And that's what I've been doing for this project. So the students have mentioned that they think that the Taxpayers should pay for replacement of the bridge, and also the company that owns the ship, the Dolly, should pay. But right now, as we speak, in a courtroom, the owners of the Dolly, they're from Singapore, are using an 1851 law that was used to protect the um, White Star Shipping Company that owned the Titanic. They're using the same law to protect them, so it's going to limit how much they actually have to pay. So it's going to be about a quarter to half of the actual cost. So they're actually in court right now, saying that they don't have to pay for the cost of the replacement of the bridge and the damage done to the port and also the loss of life. 